Hello there and welcome back to my videos. I really hope you want to stay here to me today and I'm really happy for that. And um, today we want to speak about the breadcrumb in the bootstrap view and how it's working, how we can make it simple and how we can do it a little bit more complex. Breadcrumb is using to showing the user where you are on the website and that's why I want to teach you about that today. Before we starting, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it on the, in the below in the bottom and press the thing below. And uh, then I really hope you want to like this video and smash the comments if you have any questions. And remember, all the code I do, it's on my GitHub. You can find uh, the information in the description below and you can find everything about that. That's for me and I really like to teach you today. So let's begin to teach and I will build the first uh, the breadcrumb here. So let's say we want to be breadcrumb and then inside we want to create a breadcrumb item. The breadcrumb it's uh, working with like the with the base of the breadcrumb and then we have the breadcrumb item. So that's what we want to do for now. And be breadcrumb. Right. This is the basic way. So that's what we call the home. And we have the a tag here, we can call it home. And then we want to say what we say block, that's fine for me. And uh, then we have the the last one. The last one should be active. So we will say hello world. This is a post. And we can just say active here. Let's go into the browser to see what's happening. And you can see we have the home and block and hello world. That's a very, very basic about how breadcrumb work. The next step we want to speak about is how we can make it a little bit more dynamic. If you still want to work with the, with the way here, um, the way you want to work here, like um, it could be more reason for that. So that's what we want to do. Just copy the breadcrumb here and say items. You can put it to the item data here and just say breadcrumb. And inside here we want to say the breadcrumb items. That's what we want. And we're going down here to say the breadcrumbs here and make an array with the, the objects inside. And the only thing you want to do is uh, say the text, what we want, it's home. And the ref of it, it's uh, to the home. And then we just copy it uh, two times. And we say block, and we say hello world. Hello world, uh, it's, it's a, uh, dynamic item list post here. That's what we want and we just say active. It's true and this is a block. Let's go back again and you can see this is the basic way we do it first and this is the dynamic way with the items. And that's how we can work with the breadcrumbs. But another way you can do it, it's a uh, we can make it more uh, special, like uh, if you have uh, a way you want to represent the breadcrumb in, in, in different ways, so that's what we want to do now. If you have your own custom link uh, list of the directory. So let's go back here and uh, call this one for breadcrumb custom items. And we do it again. We just copy this one up. And uh, what I want to show you now, it's uh, say custom items here. And I will just say copy this and go inside here and copy this one up. And we fall. What I want to show you now, it's um, it's a way where we can work with the, 
uh, where we can customize the text because what I want to, to do is to say if the, the name is block I will turn the color to, to blue let's say that so I'll just say Spain uh, style Uh, color to blue uh, now it's already with blue so let's say to pink let's say to pink yes color here to pink and then we need to Spain let's just to see how it's working all the colors pink now and that's fine and then we want to say the active should be uh, Actually, here and then the last one here should be actually. So let's go back to the editor again and say we just say v if well text it's equal to block. Then we go inside here template v else. I know it's a smarter way to do this, but it's just a sample, so I'll just show you what the idea is. And this is a customized one where we say the home and block, and block is pink now, and then we say hello world. This is the dynamic item post, but it's not the right one, so we say break word custom items, and then we should go in for that. And I want to make a little break here, so we love that and that's how it's working hello world and custom items and i think that's how we're working with that and of course the breadcrumb you can use the links here ref oh um, ref and you can use the two if you want if you have that's customized so of course you can use all the the nice ways to, to work with this and this is the simple way and how we're working with it i really hope you enjoyed this video I really hope you want to subscribe this video and uh, if you don't know how to subscribe you can go in the right corner below and press on the thing don't forget to like this video i will be very happy and uh, remember to share it with your friends and add it for your playlist thank you and hope to see you next time with the other view bootstrap videos and that's it for me today and the only thing I want to see now is to uh, see you. Bye.